think we roll, throw your hands up. People outside up in your eyes, turn this damn up. Our stars are legendary. The hottest yet the century is live wire. Yeah, yeah, they're way more fast than they have Barry. Court business with me and you riding on the track. Plus your daughter Kiki talk to my man Mary. I order me a sex on the beach with the cherry. I order her a lady on ice. And what's ice good? Ice what's ice good? Ice. It's Wednesday. Woo, Wednesday. You already know, throw those wings up. It's Woo Wednesday. We got the Brooklyn native in the building. Uh-huh. Brooklyn native. Dungeon Master. The Dirty Clansman. It will be in the building today. Woo Wednesday. We're going to be chopping it up about his smash hit featuring Judah Priest and Snoop Doggy Dog. You heard me? Snoop Doggy Dog. Uh-huh. It's out right now. Streaming on all digital platforms, man. Uh-huh. Big shout out to everybody that's logged on. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Go get your Scooby snacks, your drinks, call your friends, because it's going down right here on Live Wire Radio Show. So Serious TV, the best of both worlds. Streaming on Pandora, Spotify, Deezer, iHeart Music. Uh-huh. You heard me? I heart music. Tell a friend to tell a friend, log on. It's Woo Wednesday, Woo Wednesday, right here on Live Wire Radio, So Serious TV. Special guest in the building, Dungeon Master, Dirty Clansman. Uh huh, it's going down. Put your fucking hands in the air. It's the Woo Worldwide DJ Coalition. It's the Dungeon Master. Yeah, she ain't my center. Both, man. Don't you know how to see my nigga? Y'all done got me to the point I just wanna punch you in your fucking face Yo, you really pushing it I'ma go OJ on your got gloves to fit Berry bone marrow catnip Slowly decompose Warehouse larger, some may say Piss me off, not the smartest If you start this, I'ma end this quick And blow the Maddie Hayes and get on some other shit See you, get you, snatch you Leave you still at ball tall statue Know what fam you can run to, believe me, I'll catch you I'm allergic to eat shit Wake up alone with the chrome, fix your face But really make you think you just wanna do what you Park middle, all of your central, hat to low Let me break it down to you, two words Yeah, yeah, you hear me now? There you go, there you go Boom, 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 boom yeah, yeah, I'm DJ Live, I'm the Ray Jackson, he's in the building, special guest celebrity, Dungeon Master, Dirty Clansman, stand up, let me see those wings, uh-huh, what's going down, man? Tracks, tracks, throw them Matthew. W's up, you know what to do, man, yeah, 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 blow it down too, blow that bugger, you feel me? <laughs> You already know, you already know I'm the Ray Jackson to enter the <laughs> building and we're gonna start this interview, man, the correct way. But how you doing during this COVID-19 and all that though? Right. You protecting your neck? Man, listen. I gotta protect my neck. I mean, there's nothing else I can do but protect my neck. You know what I mean? It's too much. Everybody's weird. You know what I'm saying? You know, through a pandemic or crisis, that's when you see the real peoples. So while they showing their real selves, I'm just sitting back, relaxing, and enjoying my wealth, man. Mm, grinding. I like the sound of that. I like the sound. Once again, you can't tame a lion in his habitat. I'll put that hernia in you and show these mouth, and it's a fact. Doesn't matter, everything you see shall be to black Where I'm from, all that shit talk ain't none of that Sound of that, grind mode, brand new single out See you got me starting, right. you gotta wait for Ray Jackson to get in here man You got me, you say, say you trying to pull a slick one man huh? You trying to run out the gate man huh? He's trying to run out the gate. It's the dirty <laughs> trans man. 
Dirty Clansman, Dungeon Master in the building. Woo Wednesday, season two. Uh-huh. Season two, we strip the <laughs> <Jack Storm, laughs> He's a Spotify. Here goes Wayne Jackson. What's happening? Back. Oh. Wayne Jackson. Hey. Okay, okay. Yeah, let me What it do, what it do. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, of course, of course. Yeah, what you puffing on over there, man? <laughs> what, what you puffing on? Oh. That's that dirty. <laughs> it's that incredible hope. <laughs> no, I mean, it's yeah. that it, it, it's that stuff that make you turn. This shit here will make you turn real green. You know what I mean? Well, that's my color. Dirty like the Klansman. Yeah. All green. That's my color right there. It's all green. It's all green. I love it. Right. <laughs> what's happening? What's popping? Right. What's going down? DJ Livewire's Money in the Grave. We have the Dungeon Master. Dungeon Master in, in the building. In the back, building. Back. Yo, know, definitely salute to that project, man. Yeah. That project is so hard, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm so glad to be a part of that. You know what I mean? That's what's up. Salute to the You already know. Uh -huh. You already know. Stay winning. Yeah. Uh, I guess I could call myself. I guess I could call myself. If you have to not, I guess. That. I guess That's I could call right. myself a. Uh, I guess I can call myself a Billboard recorder artist now. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Welcome to my world. It's my world. Guess what? I know it's set up when I see that ish. I know you don't think I believe that ish. It is kibbles and bits. It's not my fault. My frequency has fits. Have you ever been depressed? Feeling life's the pits. No matter how major I got, I still eat my grits. Mixed with salt, pepper, cheese, eggs. Stir that ish. Don't take a lot. Red dot. Season Vic. Flip your pockets, cause you be that. Take blue slips, still sink shit. Sell the city, sell a toe for that ish. Before somebody put your lights out, quit. Do a stupid ish. You already know. Yeah. You're a Jordan now. Uh, You're a Jordan now. Uh, yeah. All grown up now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for real, for real. Number 19 on Billboard Hot 100. Number two on iTunes. Number one on Amazon Best Seller. Yeah. Yeah, man. Salute to DJ everybody that had great part in that. Dungeon master. I'm speechless though. I don't know. We made history. So, you know, to come out right. as, a, as an artist myself to make history with y'all, that's major. So, I, man, salute. Yo, it's definitely, it's definitely a pleasure because that's that bullshit. Hey! <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. Yeah, like, that's that bullshit. Oh, Bring that shit around her. And salute to Kia Jeffries also. That's yeah. Miss Pudding in your mouth, you know what I mean? Definitely salute to kid. That's what's up. Yep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, we got to bring her on next time. Yeah, yeah, we definitely got to get her in the building. Mm -hmm. We got to chop it up with her as well. You yeah. got your Dungeon Master working real hard. Not only are you a Billboard charting artist mm -hmm. now, iTunes charting artist, uh -huh. number one on Amazon bestseller uh -huh. artist. Not yeah, that. not only that, he also got the brand new, hold on, the brand new single uh -huh. featuring Judah Priest yeah. and Snoop Doggy Dog. Oh, no, not just yes. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Yes. Yes. Oh, Produced okay. by DJ Wiz. Okay. Can't keep me down. Can't keep me coming out like, like oh, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Good. You know what I mean? And also yeah. salute the Black Platinum 317 Records. I'm also president of that company. Okay. You know what I mean? So salute to Gail. You know what I mean? It is what it is. She, Miss CEO right there. Oh, 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 First name Dungeon. Last name Master. Middle name is I whip your ass if I have to. I'm a or a gun trapper. But tire crack sting is still active gun trapper. Well, that's your business. It's Benjamin's. It shows what I'm after. I had to penetrate on Texas. You know, y'all for laughter. Must have blood bath you. Four skin craft you. Who's the look? We have a problem. Doesn't you know that's back The little Mackey in his hip. But don't fuck with my thing. Somebody's gonna give me bread. If not, they won't get put in face. Who's gonna get from Trilogy? I'm still raping attacker. What's my girl, buddy? Just a battle. It's the reactor. Fuck the bullshit.
little shit that you bring. I got a lot of anger, niggas, bitch, like new things. Fuck that. <laughs> you know? And, um, yeah, man, it's, 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 it's crazy right now. You know what I mean? The work that it, like, like, even though it's COVID and, they, and all that, you know what I mean? We don't let stuff like that, you know what I mean, stop us from being creative. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? And then, they, come on, this is the type of age, we, we we in the crib anyway. So, come on, ain't nothing just that's to sit you, down and write and, 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 and get the juices that's flowing, you know what I mean? <laughs> How did you come up with that collaboration, Snoop Doggy Dog oh, to the Prince? Oh, so that, that right there? That was on DJ Wiz right there. DJ Wiz make that happen for me. So that's definitely salute to DJ Wiz. Wiz. That's what Wiz. It is. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Right. For grind mode. You know what I mean? Wu-Tang Coalition DJ. That boy go hard. He go hard. Wiz go hard with the beats, man. He go hard. Yeah, bum, bum. yeah man. What is it? Foolish yeah, Samurai. Man. It's uh black. We, we we had two topics this month. We talked about side chicks, and then we talked about Black History and Black Love, right? So let's start with the first. We'll start with the second one first. Uh -huh. uh, for Black History Month, who was the most influential person in your life that you think that we should be teaching our children about right now? I forgot his name, but he invented the lawnmower. Once again, you can't tame a lion in his habitat. I'll put that Ernie in you and show you smile, man, it's a fact. Doesn't matter, everything you see shall fade to black. Where I'm from, all that shit talk ain't none of that. DSCG goes to take it to go. TV, radio, we ready for war. Where's North South coming here, my bro? I'm the lion in the jungle, it's my territory. Yeah. So I battle for the title, cause it's mandatory. Yeah. Got body stars, cause these towers gonna fall. Yeah. But I'm a body in my house, so coming for deep, man. Come on, let me go. I see your eye beams aiming, keep walking over there and be ashamed of the purple. Life ain't fair, so let me have to destroy you. Slugs give you bubble guts, the cabot car face with the rain and bricks giving up. No love for MCs, acting all buttercup. Only real G's, drive a dungeon mask, that's what's up. No fork in the road from the broken mold. I put your ass in the fetal position. Let me put you on the game, you can't tame a lion in his habitat. I'll put that Ernie in you and Shorty's mouth and it's a fact Doesn't matter, everything you see shall be to black Where I'm from, all that shit talk ain't none of that Yeah, black. yeah, yeah. Black dude, a black dude, a black guy invented the lawnmower. Okay, a black male invented the lawnmower. So we're gonna look that up. Okay, that was passed. Yeah, it's 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 somewhere I, I posted somewhere. I think it's probably on my FB or something. Okay, we gonna we looking that up right now. I what think his name is James or John, something like that. But yeah, you know what I mean. When I when I read when I read up on dude. It was like, wow, that's kind of, it make it so funny, not many people Alrighty. would know that. Alrighty, thank God you know for Google. Not many that people. His name is John Albert Burr. That's you know what capital mean? B, oh. U, two O, yeah, you know. with an apostrophe and an S. John Burr. John Albert Burr. John Albert Burr. Yeah, and that's his kid. name. The lawnmower. The lawnmower guy. That's dope. The inventor. He so. Yeah, we all learned something. That's what's up. Yeah, because we didn't know that. That's that's yeah, that's, that was mind boggling uh -huh. right there. That's the whole point. Right. That's the whole point of um asking the question. So what about those nah, nah, nah. present day? Nah, nah, nah. Check it out. It has to take it had to take brains and real had to take brain principle to figure out because you know how they was doing that cut. They know how they was cutting grass back then. They had to dig and they had to use their arms. I was even doing it last year in in in, in Georgia. You understand what I'm saying? So it had to take a real genius back then 
-hmm. to come up with an invention like that that can still last till this day and still go hard this day. That's come on, that's that's a lot of conversation. That's, that's the legacy right there. That's the unspoken that's legacy that's right there, man. Yeah, because right now the main manufacturer of lawnmowers is John Deere. Remember right, that? and they all white. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. And they all so, white. So, and so they, and, 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 and it comes to show black man. And his name but is guess what? Too. Just like everything else in this country, it comes to show how they could take one man's idea and, and, and build off it. Now, now my thing is, I hope he had, I hope he got paid off that. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's Good question. Mm -hmm. Good yep. question. You know what I mean? Because exactly if, if, if not, his family needs to go get that bread. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm right. saying? The lawnmower is, an, is a, if you think about it, the lawnmower is the American tool. Mm -hmm. Facts. Facts. The lawnmower is the most needed American tool in every household. Mm -hmm. And it's all because of a black man. All because of a black man. That's dope. That's Even race nets use lawnmowers. Uh -huh, from the dungeon master. <laughs> <laughs> John, go research who John Burr is and, and educate your children on who that is. You, you know trying to kick knowledge? Yeah, you trying to kick knowledge today. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we want from the brother. Kick that knowledge. Know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. There's so much of our people. Our people created so much. You know what I mean? That, that, that this country benefit off of. And they still doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. At the end of the day, we need our just do. Yeah, that's true. That's you know what I'm saying? We need change. our just do because we're the most creative people on this planet. Yep. It yeah. comes with change, though. Hmm? It comes with change. I think we need to wake up and stop yeah. going around the same rat circle that we've been traveling for years and the same results over and over again. That, that and plus, and plus people need to stop. To people need to ago, stop. Check it out. still happening. Mm-hmm. What'd you say? What'd you say? Right. And the number one thing that black people need to stop doing is stop blaming a white guy. Correct. Stop Correct. Blame, stop blame yourself. Yep, yep. So so what Because you if you're sitting on the corner if you're sitting on the corner all day and all you do is drink and talk about how the white man did you this and did you that, but yet you're not going nowhere to talk about it or, or to do about it or to do anything about it, then who can you blame? You can't blame the white dude. You're blaming yourself for not doing anything about your current situation. Mm -hmm. That's right. Staying a victim to that. That's right. Playing a victim. Yeah, you become a victim of your own shit. Mm -hmm. So question, do you think that the marches and rallies and stuff like that still work? Or there has to be a change where we come up with something brand new, more affection. Efficient, should I say? Yeah. I see it like I see it like this, right? And this is basically my own thinking. The marches is good because it shows that the people got something to say. Where it goes out of hand is when you want to use your voice or you want to be around someone that's using their voice and you want to benefit off their voice by causing destruction of public property. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're talking about the right. Because now, cause, cause now you just, cause, because, because you're there, because you're there, you want to get your aggression off. So you want to feel that you want to use that outlet to do it when them people is out there doing what they have to do in the peaceful standards, which was taught to us by Martin Luther King. Yet, we're gonna be diligent and we're gonna be on top of it like how Malcolm X taught us. Right. You know I mean, the last thing anyone needs is anyone coming within that range and wanna cause chaos and confusion by throwing garbage cans through windows and all sorts of stupid shit. Yeah, I think everybody. When there's a bigger picture involved. I think every riot that we ever encountered, it was always some riot or some looting that came along with that. Because, like you said, you got. Some right. I'm now, people that come for now, mind you, because. there is times for there is times for there is times for certain things to be justified, like like what happened to Floyd, and they, and they that was that was a fed up movement, because at the end of the day, that was the first time the world gets to see a dude die on national television, B. So of course, a lot of people will be outraged about that, and of course, things is gonna burn. But that was then. That's at that time. That it don't have to be a continuing process. The point is already shown. Well, hopefully we all wake up and uh, unity will be the key and we can all come together for a more positive outcome. 
for the future. Uh, my opinion, they're like assholes. Everybody got one. I don't think. Yeah, I hope so. Because everybody got their head out their ass. They need to get their head out their ass. Hopefully, it'll be a little different. But skin color doesn't matter, man. Skin color. Nah, it doesn't. doesn't matter. I wasn't raised like that. You know what I mean? I was raised. I was raised to be on point, but I wasn't raised to hate nobody and none of that shit. If I hate your ass, that's because you did something to me. You had no fucking business doing. Facts. You know what I'm Facts. saying? Straight Facts. like that. Facts. You know what I mean? And it's very hard for me to hate motherfuckers because I don't <laughs> fuck with people. You know what I'm saying? Facts. I just don't Facts. fuck with motherfuckers. That's all. You know what I mean? Well, man. I, I, I'm kind of caught up for words when it comes to it because there's so much stuff going down with the chemtrails. And now I'm praying also for the people that's in Texas for the tragedy that they Yeah, I heard through. about it. Yeah, and, Texas, um, it's crazy out there. It's nuts, but the people was warned years ago about this machine that they're using called the Hawk. But people don't believe shit stink until they smell it. And then, if I'm not mistaken, it was some, uh, you call them memes, and they all on social media talking about, uh, I believe it's true when Texas freezes over. And now you see it. So I don't know how much more proof that the higher power got to show that we're actually in war now. You know, like, what is people going to do yeah, if the power crazy. grid break? Then we back the... Um, Caveman days. You back, yeah, you back to caveman days, what which means do? you no, gotta know. Can't. Which what means you your do? ass gotta know how to. You gotta know how to camp, and if you don't know how to get your camp on, you fuck. Literally, it's a lot of stuff going. You know what I'm on, saying, bro. like, like, it, like, we, I'm, I'm a, like, check that chat out. I'm a '70s baby, so at the end of the day, I know how to go without lights and all that other shit. That's what the fuck we grew up on. We grew up in shit where our parents. Didn't have to pay the bill. We had to go at least a couple of days or maybe a week without lights or no heat or none of that shit. We had to use candles and all that shit just to have fucking light in the, in the house and all that. Cats don't know shit about that. These motherfuckers, it's, 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 it's crazy, B. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy right it's now. It's crazy. Man. You got the COVID-19. You got the COVID-21. You, yeah. uh, you got them trying to take all the seeds from the trees and harvest them and put all these chemicals on them so you don't get them, man. See, God says you gotta just follow the signs. If you follow the signs, then you can kind of speak to him on a one-on-one -on -one basis, or I should say the higher power, right? And he says, you would know it's the end of time when the leaves and everything starts to wither away. You know, when the weeds come up, the grass is no longer green for those that's fortunate enough to even have grass in their house. It's signs and symbols. Stock up on your goods. True. Now is the time more than ever to stock up. And yep. yeah. You don't yeah, want to be late. Now yeah, but and then another thing, too, that went out the window, another thing that also went out the window is morality, man. Ugh. Morality and loyalty went out the window. Hard body, B. Well, I think, I think the social you know media... Mean? Channel f Fox Five. I think they have a lot. The morality issue that. is Politics. crazy. Politics. It's COVID nineteen, and that's understandable. Of course, media. The media. The media has a big. Check it out. The media has a big, big, big reason why everything in it. The media caused the majority of it. Because the, the media loves to brainwash people and everything with their hidden agendas and all that. Fact. You know what I mean? Come on, they 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 they, they showed. They, if you notice, every show is crazy, B. Every well, time you look at a show up? now on TV, it's crazy. When do we wake up? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You wake up. You wake up. I, you wake up. I know that. Ask you it, that. It. <laughs> what happened? When do we wake up and realize we wake up now, that we're going through it? And, and don't stand for anything else but change. Gotta wake up now. Right now. If they can't wake up, they sleep and they ghost. You know what I'm boom, saying? Boom, boom. It don't take a rocket scientist to figure that shit out. And, and it, it don't take a rocket scientist to notice all these, all these, all these, how can I say, um, unethical 
unethical movements that, that that's roaming around you all time all the time. You know what's yeah, unethical and what's come on. Everybody knows what's ethical and what's not ethical. And it's crazy. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? I, I, don't, I don't even want my. I don't, it got to the point that I don't even want my kids watching TV. Oh yeah. We don't watch oh yeah. TV is saturated with all that stuff. Right. You don't want your kids to even know right. about. Right. Right. Bugging me. Well, they have my age, kids. They have, talking like having my kids. TV. Having my kid waking me up twelve o'clock at night, bugging me out talking about Lulu. You better Lulu Lu, your ass to bed. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> okay. out of here. <laughs> Yeah, they got some crazy stuff on TV these days. And you know, yeah. Watch it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They, they want to saturate the kids and plant those seeds of, you know, all those things as that they shouldn't even be knowing until they're in their adulthood, at least late. Facts. They started early when they're right. young and, and put it in cartoons and, you know what I'm saying? Right. Guys, and, and, you know and, 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 right. And, yeah. and now they, and now they wonder, yeah, and now they wonder why they can't. It up so and it's a killer veto. Now they wonder why their kids just turning against their asses want to go upside their heads with, with pots and shit. Facts. But question, did you see on YouTube when they brung the, uh, what they call them? The gay, gay, right? Gay is a proper word for it, right? LGBT. Yeah. Into the child classroom. Uh -huh. And he was basically giving them a story on it's okay to be a part of the LGBT group, and these kids ain't even past eight years old yet? Yeah. They ain't supposed to know nothing you about don't do that shit anything like that. Yeah. That's not, the, that's not, also, that's not even in the, that's not even supposed to be in a child's mind frame. Not at all. Not at that time, though. In all reality, you bugging. But yeah. that's what you they bugging. playing in there. Like, real true. Yeah, that's what they plan in now. Well, now when they now when they now 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 if now in their late teens, now in their late teens, they 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 they, 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 they going to be talking about it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they 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 yeah, that's true. They 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 should be Fresh, about, uh, developing the minds of of the children. You know, be, uh, outside of their sexuality. Yeah, we was. Why you want to throw that? In, why you want to throw that in the child's face for? Why? Why? Because then now you don't got to kill a fucking about about They gonna look about it like, okay, where, where should I learn this? Right. Crazy. Right. They they thinking about okay, where do I go get this information? It's like, wait a minute, no, go back to where do you go. Learn how to spell dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're not trying to figure out all that other stuff comes later. Then we got to retrain and retrain. Yeah, man, so, it's crazy. It's crazy right now. So, yeah, our, our, our TV stay off all day unless they watching So Serious TV or listening to live wire radio shows. So do you think <laughs> that they're going to restructure? Because they're talking about it's going to be a change. Now that we have a black woman in there that's helping because I'm pretty sure a lot of black people that's watching this show went out there and voted and you only voted for Biden for the simple fact that she's on the team with him, right? Because if I'm not mistaken, he threw out some racist spurs before, even though he apologized for it, but he did throw some words out there saying that he didn't want black kids to go to school with the white kids because it would corrupt them. So that was his words. And that's the most... And that's the craziest bullshit because it's like right, everybody knows that Biden pulled a chess move and he won. Well, it worked. He checkmate the motherfucker with a chess yeah. move. Yeah. Now, okay, of course it worked. It, of course it worked. It, that, it had, it, that right there was a no brainer. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yep. That was a no brainer. So now it's about now that he's in there. The thing is, as long as he go about what he say, but then again, you know, certain powers may not, I mean, who knows what this man's agenda really is in all reality, because every president is fucked up. It doesn't matter how many motherfuckers are in office. If you're president of the United States, somewhere down the line, you're going to fuck up. Even Obama fucked up. You What's know what I mean? But Obama was politics. slick with it, though. <laughs> <Bong, bong. laughs> Obama was slick with it, though. Big and, 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 and at the end of the day, and at the end of the day, Obama caught on to it and he
he he he made his dip on it. Right. Listen now, people, we're not gonna pull that right now. We're not gonna. I am not the fool for that. No 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 no. <laughs> See, he he did that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Now. The main thing, I, I, I see it like this. This is a power play to get that chick in, 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 in office. Because for a lot of people, they're going to feel that it's time for a woman to be president. Now, if that do happens to happen, and some Booker Foot shit done popped off, that's because it was already planned. You know what I'm saying? From the door, it's already planned, man. When they say the prophecy, that, yeah, that's something that they wrote down in a book, like a guideline, and say, follow this. So if I die, my kids, kids, kids is going to follow this same mm -hmm. guideline. Now, what I do like the fact that there's a woman vice president because it inspires a whole bunch of chicks that they got nothing to do better with their lives but get inspired. So exactly. hopefully, we're her in office will inspire these chicks to get off their fucking ass and stop trying to train motherfuckers' pockets and go out there and get their own. Well, I'm you know hoping, I mean? man. I'm hoping. I'm That's hoping. one thing. We got a lot I'm of women out there. I'm hoping, too. I am so hoping, and too. Very influential. That's a good word for it. They influential. Yeah. And um, they'll confuse the shit out of a motherfucker. Big time. Big time. And you'll be going like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... Hopefully, that, hopefully they now, get together and we all come together. Inspiration, now, if they use this inspiration to blow and, and, and come up the way they're supposed to come up the right way and pass that legacy down to other people that can meet that inspiration, then I'm all for it. You know what I mean? It got to be positive. You know what I mean? It, it, it doesn't mean go get it. It doesn't mean... It doesn't mean, oh, you, we got a female president. Let me go get up off my ass right now and get a job and shit and then take a paycheck and go buy a case of beer and shit. Or some Patron or some 1800. No, we don't do those. You know what I'm saying? Do it right. Well, I think do things right. are going to change right. now. I think things are going to change a lot. During uh, just life in general, I don't think it's never going to go back the way it was. I think them days is long gone, man. Whatever life in general... Is it's gonna, it's gonna, it's life it's in general is gonna change since COVID came. Facts. No, it's not. We live in through history. We live, and we actually live in through history right now. Well, everything so is history. Everybody just needs to record what they can record off this. And under, yeah, it is, it is. But this shit here, within a year, you got almost down to almost half a million people dead just because of the cough. Well, I know That's you crazy. watch The Simpsons. Do you watch The Simpsons? Of course. Okay. Well, The Simpsons was like right about every single tragedy that came out. <laughs> yeah, word. I word. don't know how, but it word. has happened. Well, I'll mention this right here on Live White Radio Show. I remember seeing an episode of The Simpsons, right? I didn't know it was COVID-19, but they had a mark off. Everything else was open but New York City. New York City was ground zero. And it told you beware. You had to have a special ID card to leave and come back and forth from New York City. Like New York City was right, right, right. The zombies and everything else was open. I seen that on The Simpsons. So I say that. Right. To say I, this. I actually remember that episode. Yeah, I say that to say this. It keeps switching. They keep presenting stuff. Uh, COVID comes and goes, right? COVID-19, now COVID-21. Certain states are open. New York still stay closed. <laughs> Will New York continue to stay closed and everything else opens? Well, for what they say, they're going to be reopening certain stuff around um, April. We'll see. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. We'll see. If you get the shot. You know what I mean? But, the, oh, nah, hell no. I ain't <laughs> Listen, do you I don't know be about, they yo, was giving people? I don't feel, ever say, yo, let me, let, me, let me tell you something. As soon as they said, as soon as they said pandemic, I, I was not around people, period. You know what I'm saying? You don't tell me pandemic. I ain't going around nobody. It took me right. almost a year just to come out the crib. Wow. No, I don't do that. 
Wow. Even when I go out, even when I go out now, I be on it like that, B. Like until until it's close and clear and it's no more pandemic, I'm it's it's still a pandemic to me. Well, I think you know it's gonna I, mean? be inside. I don't think the pandemic ever is gonna be over with, man. I think it's gonna well, be guess a what? certain area. I'll, it's just my it'll opinion. Okay. It'll be okay. Look at the heart machine and okay. what it did to Texas to them people out there, man. Through the heart machine. I they didn't even know it thing. was a I didn't even know it was a machine out there. Well, no one knows where the machine is at, but have you ever noticed Texas to get hit like that? Nah. But I do know that Texas sucked up power from all the other states. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's right. I heard about that. I heard Texas. You know what I mean? So it's like, if, if, if that state can't even hold its own power, it got to get power from, from all the other states. And this shit been going on for this long. Something is wrong. Yeah, something just ain't right, man. Something just ain't right. But getting back to you. Now, man, isn't there oil? Now, my thing is just like, like, if there's oil in Texas, if there's oil in Texas, why don't they use that to build a power plant so they can have a sufficient enough power instead of taking it from other states? Mm, good question. Good question. I don't know, man. And crime reminds me like to know. I don't know. <laughs> All that I could do is say protect well, I, I wanna, your I wanna family. Know, I want to know that, too. Stock up. <clears throat> free, learn how to survive without the internet and everyday uh, successes that we use. Re-teach yourself. It's crazy. It's enough stuff that, it's enough stuff that, you see, another it, you know good thing about technology is if I was people in Texas and there was an adult or two like that, it's nothing to get solar battery, man. Facts. Get the, put that bread together, get that solar batteries. If you got a crib, you get a windmill, you get a, you get a windmill attached to your crib that will draw power to your joint. You know what I mean? And, it, it'll, and, it, and they make windmills now, you won't even know it's a windmill. You understand wow. what I'm saying? If the resources is out there like that, then use your bread. To, to, to use your bread to better your living situation. So at least with God to the fact, worse come to worse, you have power and, and you have run some type of running water because mm. we have water is what it is. Now I mean, yeah. it don't take nothing to invest in solar panels and, 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 and get wind power for your crib. Facts. Facts, man. Facts. Facts. Thank you for enlightening people out there yeah. for those who don't and then, know. And then, and, 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 then uh, and then a lot of them farms out there should know this already. They got windmills. Well, I think... You know I, what I mean, think, a lot of them, we got a lot of farms out there in Texas, too. You know what I mean? It's a lot of farms out there. They should be, they should have been on that, 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 that clear power thing already solar panel they join up they got land like 50 acres you got cats out there that just living on 50 acres just to be living on 50 acres and you telling me you're living on 50 acres and you're not smart enough to get solar panels for your crib just in case you don't have no power or some type of wind thing you well, already got your own water so you don't need that probably some of them did but you got a lot that did so well that's good Unity god bless you Unity right. is the key, man. Each one and information is power, B. Stay safe. Right. Right. And that, not makes it funny. I advise that to I advise that to anybody that has a home. Facts. You know what I mean? Because you don't know what could happen. A storm could happen. Guess what? You out of power for three days. You got your solar panels. You know, daytime, that dang thing, them dang thing, that line is that light is gonna shine. You know what I mean? And your battery is enough to hold that down for that day until the next day. Simple right. as that. You just got to conserve your energy. You know what I mean? Well, just protect yourself, man. Protect your family. I'm praying for all those that's yeah, out man. there, man. That y'all stay safe. Yeah, you man. Warm. You know, um, it's dangerous. These are dangerous times right now. And in my opinion, only yeah. going to make this through is just keeping your higher power first, being prayed up. And stay in focus, you know, stay in focus. Yes, sir. Keep the negative vibes away from you and create in your brain. If you can paint the picture, it can happen. So if you want better days, 
Let's all pray for better days. And together, by consciousness, we can get that. Facts. Each one teach one. Simple. Each one teach one. You know what I mean? Peace Help your God. brother out. That's Help your peace. sister out. Help your community out. Do what you can for those that need. We got to. You know if not, I mean? we all going to die some way, somehow, in a miserable form, man. We're not in the lead for the further generation. It's bad enough that Generation X, we don't even talk to. And they so far this way and we so far that way. Unity is the key. Without that, we all going to continue to keep going downhill. Basically, because it, right now we're dealing with Generation Z. They straight zombie the fuck out. <laughs> Big, time. Big time, man. Fact. The plan in this movement, I don't even know what galaxy we in. But I'm pretty sure it ain't like the 70s or back in the days or 2000. We someplace else that no one's seen before. So we don't even know what's going to come out this so-called sky. That can change everything. We don't nah. know, man. But you want to, but you, but you want to know the killer. You know the killer bee, though. If if you smell it in the air, right, and if you notice how certain people's behaviors and all that shit are, if you really think about it, it may slip your head now and then. But it's kind of take you back to like how dudes was in the eighties. If you really think about it, how people's movements are and shit and everything now, it's like how dudes was moving in the eighties, see. But they just doing it with no sense of thought. You understand what I'm saying? Facts. Yeah, how so? Give me an example. Huh? I said, how so? Well, well, you, you, well an example would be like this. It's a pandemic, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you think, think back, think of this pandemic back in the 70s, like during the blackout. These dudes was running around here stuck on stupid with nothing else better to do but try to get the first thing they could get instead of being unified about all right, boom, boom. They don't go to check on the, the peoples and all that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Movements like the 80s. In the 80s, crack first came out. When crack first came out, these motherfuckers were stuck on stupid. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The loyalty started breaking. The fucking... The moral fabric started breaking all sorts of shit when crack came in. Crack came in and basically just fucked everybody up. Now, guess what? Now, look at this pandemic. This pandemic is a crack that you get from a cough. And guess what? It's fucking everybody up because you got these young motherfuckers running around. Now, everybody's wearing a mask. So guess what? It don't take nothing for a motherfucker to run up on you and pop you. Who knows? Who did, who did it to you? I don't know. He got a mask on. That's everybody around you now. Yeah, that's true. Just like the 80s. In the 80s, you could get away with that shit like it's nothing, whether it's broad daylight and all that shit. Now, that's what these motherfuckers is doing. The same dumb, diabolical, dumb shit mm -hmm. that we did in the 80s and when we was little and everything. You know what I'm saying? But, see, but when we did it back then, we had purpose and goals for what the fuck we did. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I was not always a rapper. I was something totally monstrous. <laughs> now, getting back to what I was saying. <laughs> now, getting back to what I was saying, though, like the movements that these dudes is doing now is like the 80s, man. You know what I'm saying? Crime rate done went up on a low, low. You know what I'm saying? You got, like, I've, I, like, I've been out here for, like, back for, like, a light show, hot minute. And there was, like, damn near 10 processes that I didn't even know about that done went down. Down until I turned on the news. Oh shit, this shit happened here today. What the fuck? You know what I mean? It's, it's, it, 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 the, the movement right now is, is so shady and slippery, but yet you can see it. You understand know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and you got those that, that see it, but they fail to fall a victim of it. Mm -hmm. They they, they want to become part of that, that, that problem shit because they think it's a fucking come up. Mm -hmm. You can't come up of chaos. Because every time you come up with chaos, that shit is going to flip back on you. Right. And that's where karma comes in. And she a bitch. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And then the, the mask situation, if you don't wear a mask, they spray so much stuff in the air that it's going to affect right. your, your lungs. You know what I mean? Like, like yesterday, uh, I went outside and I just had a complete attack because when, we, when I saw the trail in the sky, and he was like, okay, watch, 12 o'clock tomorrow, 
you know, everybody gonna start feeling the effects of it. As soon as I went outside, it was hot chew all day long. And then, you know, today it was like, oh my God, I feel so weird. Like I couldn't get out of the bed, you know, calling family and they're like, yeah, we've been sleepy all day. It's like, okay, so if I would have worn my mask, (laughs) I probably wouldn't even have felt the effects of what they spread in the air, but it's the fact that- Yeah, but this is the killer bill about the mask thing though, Mm -hmm. right? Even though you're wearing a mask and shit, you're still breathing, you breathing back in your own carbon monoxide. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And that right there will fuck up your body internally more fucked up than everything. I I got I was in the hospital one time for carbon monoxide poisoning. That shit is nothing to be played with. Mm-hmm. I ju- I was I was asleep. I jumped up. I couldn't breathe for nothing. I thought I was done. I had to bang on the floor and all this shit and everything. I had my people's called the ambulance and all that. And I had caught it because I was moving a pool table and the, the exhaust pipe in the back of the truck. When he hit the gas, all that smoke with him, all that, I didn't help, all that shit. That shit fucked me up for a minute, yo. So that mash, I mean, like, with me, I like, all right, if I'm in the street, if ain't nobody on my side of the street, I ain't wearing no mask. Right. You know what I mean? But, like, like if I'm around people and all that other shit, depending on the distance that I'm walking, is whether I will mask up or not. Now, if I'm in a public spot, like in the store, of course I'm going to do that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If I'm in a store anywhere, if if I'm inside anywhere, of course I'm gonna do that shit. But just outside, I'm not gonna do that. I need to breathe. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just what the fuck it is. I mean, and, and then and I and see, I'm I don't play that pandemic shit. So I will let mad motherfuckers walk by and all that other shit before I even step outside the crib. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't play that shit. If I gotta go somewhere, if I'm not driving, I'll take a cab. And that motherfucker better have it on a mask and the windows better be open in the car. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't play that shit. <laughs> That's true. You never know who you're getting in the car with. Uh-huh. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I was at an event we did at the Meth Lab. Everybody had on their masks and shit. So that was, that was, that was definitely was patient shit. You know what I mean? But like, Certain time when motherfuckers went outside, everybody was just in their own little spots, no masks. Everybody was breathing, went back in, mask up. Know what I'm saying? Right. Shit like that. Got to be mindful. It's just so much shit nowadays, and the shit is just crazy. And like a lot of people, especially our people, is taking that shit for granted. Like that shit is nothing to be fucking playing with. And motherfuckers are still dropping off this shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? True. Now who's to say they're not giving every now who say they're not giving everybody a vaccination just so they can poison the fucking air? Mm-hmm. The vaccinations ain't one hundred either. <laughs> no, 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 none of that shit is one hundred. Well, half of the motherfuckers got well, nah, do you know what it ain't you when you could when you see motherfuckers get several palsy from that shit, you know it ain't good. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. When you see them give away go home early. Cards if you take the shot. Uh, Whenever they gave <clears> anything <throat> away for free. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. uh, Damn right, you definitely gonna pay for it later. I'm not taking it. Mm-hmm. Damn sure gonna pay for it later. Oh, I ain't beat. Yeah, that's I ain't beat. Finger full of crazy toe. I ain't never even took the flu shot or gave my kids the flu shot. I'm like, uh uh-uh. uh. I don't take flu shots because mm-hmm. I don't get sick like that. And when I do get sick, it's no more than three fucking days. And I only get sick when the seasons change. Mm-hmm. And I know what to do from that time when I get sick. I drink a lot of alcohol and tea and I lay my ass down and nobody fuck with me. Mm-hmm. And I smoke my butt and I enjoy my sickness because <laughs> I don't take pills. I don't take night quill. I don't take none of that shit. I take right. alcohol, tea, and weed. Yep, yep. That does the Natural remedies. Yeah. <laughs> that does Facts. Well, maybe you some aloe here or there. <laughs> I'll drink a hot toddy all fucking day. Hot toddies all day. All day. <laughs> That's facts. That's facts. So, Live Wire Radio Show, So Serious TV, we're going to switch it up a little bit and get this question number two before we let you go. Our question was, it was Valentine's Day. We talked about you know, a lot of things, side chicken activity and stuff like that. One of the main questions that um, I ask everybody is, what is the meaning of love? Love is an illusion that just, that was made up for people to make them think that they're happy. 
<laughs> okay. So so there's no there's no there's no such thing as love. Love is a made up love is a made up situation. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's a feeling like anything it's it, it, it's a, it's a made up feeling like anything else. Like I like money. I love money. Mm -hmm. I like to eat burgers. I love McDonald's. I like hamburgers. <laughs> I love hamburgers. I like tomatoes. I love tomatoes. I mean, okay. love, like, hate, you know what I mean? Uh huh. Now, when you talk about that love word, people could use that love word in so many angles. That is crazy. Like, I love to hate people from time to time. Mm -hmm. I love to beat up people a lot of times. <laughs> so love could be used in so many forms and fashions that, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it's nothing just, it's just happiness. This is another word for being happy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's how I look at it. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, and you said you said something about side chicks too? Let's go on it. Let's, yeah. let's go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, you gotta go catch our Valentine's Day show. We had a show on Saturday because you know on, uh -huh. on a Saturday is the side chick day for Valentine's Day. You know, and then Sunday is I mean the the okay. val actual Valentine's Day is the day that you spend with your main chick. That's that's the going trend, you know. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we were just saying that you know side chicks need love too, and what. You know, what was the activity around having a main chick and a side chick? Like, you know, if you have a side chick, what what's the difference? Like, how do you treat that person different? How do you categorize that person as your side chick? Like, what, you know what I mean? What does that really mean? Well, I don't, the uh, put it like, during my whoring days, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because I was definitely, I was shit up super male whore. You okay. know what I mean? I, I and I, and, and, it is what the fuck it is. I guess yeah. it is. Uh -huh. Now. <laughs> you get the cookie to the cookie gate, God. <laughs> according to how I see them as a person is how I treat them. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. If you're a hub bugger, I'm going to treat you like a hub bugger. Okay. If you got a brain on your head, I'm going to treat you like you got a brain on your head. Mm-hmm. If all you want to do is fuck, then that's all we're going to do is fuck. Okay. And... So you if kept it 100 gonna, out the gate. What happened? I said, so you keep it 100 out the gate. I have to. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, because like during that time, I wasn't obligated to nobody. Right. I was only obligated to myself. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, we could TV kick it and do all that shit. But just like you say, ain't no rings on your fingers, ain't no rings on mine. Okay. Know what I mean, that, and, and 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 guess what? Women do it. Women do it too. So I'm gonna give you what the fuck the good liquor, please. You yeah. ain't gonna rock and give your pussy away to everything else. But guess what? The difference between me and you is when I give my dick away, I fuck up, not down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's the difference. Right. Right. If I fuck around, it's gonna be on a chick that's on a better plateau than your monkey ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because at least that way she can inspire me to do more. Okay. Yes. And then it will go on from there and go on and there, go on from there and go on from there. That's okay. when I was holding. You know what I mean? And I treat them all accordingly. Valentine's Day, if you get a phone call from me, you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That means I really fuck with you. Yeah. Uh-huh. That means I fuck with you. If you don't get a phone call, Better luck next time. Yeah, stay, you know stay, stay in your lane. <laughs> There's always next year. Right. You know what I'm do, do something. Uh huh. I feel Make you. me remember you. Do something. I don't know. Buy me a car. Fuck it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Anybody out there buying cars for this? <laughs> <laughs> hey, like I said, if I, see, the thing is, see, right now I'm on my little shit. Mm -hmm. When I was on my home and shit, and, and see, even when I was loyal to my chick, my chick knew what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And she always told me, you better make sure you fuck up, not down. Mm -hmm. Because if you fuck with a chick that don't got what I got, you wasted your motherfucking time. Right. That means she can't go nowhere and she's a needy bitch. And bad enough, your ass is expensive as it is. 
why would you need a needy bitch that can't do shit for you? Okay. That's why you got me. And then we, we, we was rocking like that for 17 years. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay. He did live wire no. So, boom, boom, no. Boom, boom, boom. so, so are you married? No, I'm not. Okay. So you've been rocking with, with your, your love for 17 years? No, nah, no, nah, she's dead. Oh, at, okay. She died 2014 and shit. So, you know, it's okay. just been little bumpy roads here and there, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? But yeah, I mean, if, if I'm off the market, yes, I'm off the market. I'm chilling. You know what okay. I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm on a whole different wave and shit. You know what I mean? But she fuck up. She know what it is. Okay. That's okay. So I'm always keeping one thousand. Listen, that's one thing I'm always doing is keeping one thousand. You know what I'm saying? Good. So, you know what I mean? And, and I'm a loyal dude to the core. So I expect my, my, my significant other to be the same. You know what I mean? That's and she know how it is. If, if she cross lines, I will play the fuck out for Cocoa Puff. <laughs> okay, so right now, so so as of it, right now, you found somebody to deal with your bipolarness and you happy in that one. I'm good. <laughs> he said that's smooth. I'm good. I'm okay, good. well, congratulations. <laughs> How, okay, I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. Brand I'm new right. bang out. Yeah. What's it called again? It's the one with Snoop. <laughs> Snoop Doggy Dog. Yeah, can't keep me down. Can't keep Judah me down. Judah Priest. And Judah, that's my bro, bro. Dungeon Master. Uh huh. Can't keep me yeah. down. Can't keep me down. That's Streaming the old Also, DJ Wiz is on there too. Right now. Okay, so when the video coming out? Oh no, y'all got the exclusive. It ain't out yet. Mm. Y'all got oh, this for real? Oh, yeah, it ain't play, out play, yet. play, play. Y'all the only one that's out there right now. Oh, we yeah. got to talk about that one. Yeah. Uh -huh. We got to talk about that one. Yeah, I got the exclusive. So, you know. Yeah, we got the exclusive. Y -Y radio show. Dungeon <laughs> exclusive. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, we work, we, we getting that. That's going to be released soon. You know what I mean? When it, when it, when it does, everybody will you know. Until then, y'all can rob to it. Yeah, that's on the I, radio. Exclusive yeah. on Live Wire Radio. Exclusive. I thought it was done already. Oh, I got, oh you know, nah, DJ's nah, gonna be hating that. Hate that. DJ's gonna definitely be hating that. See what you did? Right. Right. That's what's up. Yeah, we 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 appreciate you for supporting us, man. Um, glad we got you back on. Continue to tap in with us, you know, as we grow and build. Of course, of course. Yes. We got so much work to do, it's ridiculous. For sure. Nothing but it's history. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just want to say, you know, you, you kind of remind me of my pops. My pops passed away in December. And you kind of, you remind me of him because he, he stayed with the cap. Like, he always wears cap, like, right here. You know what I'm saying? He got the little <laughs> on the other side of the bus that's like, you remind me so much of him. So I always tap in with you just because of that. You know what I'm saying? But right, keep right, alive, right. keep it lit. Thanks for supporting us. Thank you. Thank you. No, it's always a pleasure. You know what I mean? Y'all been y'all been doing y'all thing so long and come on, man. Yeah. It, it is what it is. I have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We just trying to build, man. We're trying to make sure that, you know, we built that generational wealth so the family is strong no matter who the president is. Presidents are temporary. Wu Tang is one. All day. Forever. All day. <laughs> boom, 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 Forever. boom. All right, All man. Day. Thank you for tapping in. We'll holla at you. Facts. Definitely, okay. definitely. Follow me, Dungeon Master. Mm -hmm. D U N G E O N M A S T A. For those that don't know how to spell, <laughs> Twitter, same shit. Instagram, same. Freedom of Death Radio. Salute to JLF. Salute to Ridge Entertainment. You know what I mean? Salute yeah. to my dirty clansmen. Brooklyn Zoo. R.I.P. Papa Wu. R.I.P. Alain Real. R.I.P. Being R.I.P. Tricks is meant for kids to the letter. I know some tricks is so chicks called dudes who don't know better. Take your back, leave you dry enough, catch your stash. Cheeks feeling wetter, that's when I get her. Do me a favor, man, call yourself an Uber. No double back, that's booger foot. No Forgive me, they won't recognize you through ash. Mentally, what comes out your mouth? Gonna get you kicked in your mouth. Trap. Uh.
Some you still just wanna keep throwing up the past. For you, it's enough. Yeah. Too bad I had to tell you it's a zone. Oh. Now pick your mouth up off the floor. The job on the floor. Remorse? No. Hey, yo. We'll make the day go better, it's the dough. At the yeast beastin', let it rise some more. Oh. You didn't know your head pop is still this cold perception. All to deal with common skills. Skills is what a lot of people really lack. Sit your nails down and learn how to truly act. This protocol tradition that it's a known fact. Fall back, kill the beast, still attack. React like a mac in the back of the act. Back your head to the white meat. Washed up, no wrench, no repeat. Eight mile, if Mr. Beast keep repeat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,